Hey everybody, it's Jay Henry. Uh, in this video, I'm going to move a um, subdirectory of a Git repository into a different Git repository. I'd actually done another video on this, but realized after I made it that I had not preserved history for the files in the subdirectory. So what I want to do on this video is copy a subdirectory into a new Git repository, but maintain the history on the files. So what I'm going to do is go and first take a look at the repository that we want to copy. So we've got this um, subdirectory in here which contains all of the files having to do with um, our computer vision model that we have been building. Um, and what I want to do is actually put that in its own repository. Um, so what I want to do is go here and I'm going to create a new one, call it J. Henry Code Vision, and go ahead and initialize it with a README because it is a, a Python project. <coughs> um, let's see. I think I'll use the. Yeah, I think that license. I think this is the one that it's just like a regular um, uh, GNU license, except that um, it specifies that. Um, network distribution is distribution, so you have to make source code um, available. And it has all the copyleft protections. I think this is the right one. Um, it's, yeah. Anyway, basically make sure that, like, if, if AWS decides to use your source code and make it a service, that they have to continue distributing it. So let's create that repository. And then we're not, we're not going to pull this down yet. What we're actually going to do is, let's go back to the other repo, and we're going to clone this one. And new window, give myself a little bit of room to work here, because we're going to be doing quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to get into my code directory. I'm going to get clone this directory. And then this will have all of the things that we um, want to um, put into the new repository. And so let's get in there. And everything should be up to date. And so what we're going to do here is first thing we're going to do is um, remove the remote so that we can't accidentally push changes up to this repository while we're pulling stuff out of it. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to use um, get filter branch and we're going to put a subdirectory filter on it and the name of it is henrycode.vision. This is the subdirectory. And um, this should actually um, Rewrite master, and if we look in this now, we should see basically everything in here has been replaced by just the contents of the subdirectory. Um, and so to get this into a new repository, we're going to move it. So let's, uh, let's actually make a directory. A new directory. Uh, code. Vision. So we'll make this directory, and then we'll move all this stuff in there. Um, let's move all of this stuff to our new directory. And then um, uh, one thing that probably wasn't moved is, yeah, the git folder. So let's explicitly move that. Uh, .git. Yeah, I, could, I think I can just do that. And then let's cd in there. Um, actually, I can probably just go like this. Everything should be here. So if I do a git status now, everything should be clean because we're all up to date. Um, and so I'm going to need to add the remote for the repository that we just created. So I'll copy this and let's say get remote add origin 
there and then if I try to um, if I try to pull down because I'm gonna want to get the readme and everything from here so get pull origin master it'll start trying to pull it down but it should refuse to merge the histories because they're unrelated yeah so we should get this and then so what, what we can do is allow unrelated histories I think that should do it oh what is it did I, did I mistype that let's see maybe I just misspelled it get pull origin master allow oh related unrelated there we go and we'll have to merge these together which is fine uh, that's fine and then exit and should be okay so if I go push this up It should push up to our new repo. It should have all the files that we had in our old repo. Um, and that's good. It did, it did preserve our trained weights. And if I refresh this, we should see, yes, we have our commit history here. So all of our data is in there. Um, and actually, I could probably just go back up to the top level and take a look at commits. And we should see our history here. So that's how you can um, pull a subdirectory out of a Git repository, put it in its own repository, and um, maintain history so that you don't, you know, lose any of your context. Um, yeah, so if any of this was helpful, please like and subscribe below. If I uh, misstated anything or did anything wrong, or if there's a better way to do it, please uh, mention that in the comments so I can learn something. And if I got the, the if I'm wrong about the license we chose, put that in there too, because I was like 50-50 on that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Ciao.